Welcome everybody. This is my tutorial on practical planking. I found a lot of different uh, tutorials were very confusing and things I couldn't figure out on my own. So this is what I did. Here's a planking fan that gave me an, a representation of my widest plank and my, my smallest plank, which would be the 3 16 planks, which came with the kit, and the 5 30 seconds, which was the smallest that I wanted to get to in the front of the, the hull. Um, this would be your normal planking fan. I think I got this off of the website uh, for the club, and um, this is how I, I, I marked it onto the planking fan with a blank plank. Now what I did here was I measured to each bulkhead, which I'll show you in a second, and then placed them in, to in total onto um, the planking fan. And what this did was this gave me a quick reference on being able to go to uh, bulkhead A, B, C, D, without having those little strips all over the place and holding those and marking and, and making that a little bit more difficult. And if you place that onto that planking fan. Now you'll see here I needed to get a, a, a permanent to be able to measure from. So I put in the garbage strake. I put in uh, two planks after that to get a plumb line. Now you're going to want to follow the directions within your kit and let the garbage straight go where it wants. You don't want it to go too far up. You don't want to keep it too far level, which is my mistake I made here. You'll notice that the second um, plank up, I had to go down to the 330 seconds. And what I did was I used a 3x5 card to measure these and cut out double strips. So it gave me four different locations to measure bulkhead. I then took, went to the planking fan and marked that off. And it's a little backwards, but at least it shows you what I'm, I was doing here. And it gives me a pretty good representation of where they're going to be on the hull to the bulkhead. Now I'll show you how I marked this. I went to the widest um, bulkhead, which I think in this model was G. This is the rattlesnake, by the way. A model ship weighs rattlesnake. And I took the strip, laid it on the bottom of the whale, on the top of the third plank up that I have, and then marked it. Transfer that to the planking fan, which on this one you can see I didn't mark the, the um, 3 sixteenths, but I started at the 5 30 seconds, worked my way back until I get the right distance, and I know I need 15 planks, so bingo. Now I can mark them onto the strip if I want to transfer that measurement to the bulkhead, or I can leave the strip here, mark it with the straight line like you saw on the other planking fan, and then have a quick reference to be able to go to on one piece of paper for measuring all of the bulkheads. And we'll see how we transfer that to the wood. That's what this is. And I went all the way to the bow and to the stern. I kind of let it flow to the stern because I knew the stern was going to be the widest um, point on this uh, ship. So I wanted it to um, ride back. You see how the J fit there. And I just followed the line out, marked it with a J so I know which one I'm going to go back to. And you'll see how we transfer this to the material. Now I measure A. Now the board I'm using here is not the planking width of the 316s. I went with a, a little bit wider to show you guys how um, I measured onto this. And I used the, the tip of the caliper, poke a little indent that gives me a way to put the pencil and know that it's exactly where the indent was and then I could put a dot there to represent that bulkhead. And we work our way down. Now the one thing you'll see here is I didn't mark the uh, bulkheads distance uh, so that you know where to, to mark on the strake you got to go over to the model take a strip and mark your bulkheads and then transfer that back to your plank that you're cutting out. And this may this may vary. You'll see that I go a little bit wider on each one of these. I go a little bit longer on the plank. So that way as I'm taking off material to fit into the stem there or to fit into the stern, it allows me to micro adjust that on the kit um, a little bit easier. It, unless if I try to cut it perfect here, it's going to be almost impossible to get that to transfer to the kit. So here we have the measurements for the bulkheads. Start marking them onto the plank. Well, it's, it's hard to do with holding one can one hand on the camera and the other on a pencil. So and we mark them all. Okay. 
That's all of our bulkheads. And now I transfer your B, C, D, E, and F bulkheads. So I grab my calipers again, measure the B, and we're going to kind of zip through this section right here. Take that measurement, make sure it's accurate. Transfer that to the B. Put a dot. I don't know why the video did this, but for some reason it is. B, C, D, E, F. Put your dot. Now all you do is, like in high school or in grade school, connect the dots. And my puppy walking underneath me while I'm doing this. Okay. Connect all the dots. Now, as when you cut this out, you're going to want to go a little bit over on the material. Don't cut it exact. That allows you to use a little sanding wedge, a sanding block, and just take off enough material to get it to fit precisely the way you want it to fit. Now, remember, it's wood. If you wanted it perfectly, you would pick plastic. But we picked wood, so allow the wood to be wood and, and allow it to give you some character in the, in the ship. I don't... I'm a big one on if I'm going to do it any other way, I want it to be um, allowing it to have some character. And here's the port plank that I've already cut out with the starboard plank for the bow. And we're going to dry fit those onto the vessel. And you see that one fits pretty good just by a little push and, and to follow the curvature and it fits right in. Now this is dry set. So this is no wetness on this yet. We put it on, dry set it to make sure that all the parts are going to fit. Everything, all the planks are looking good. There's no... Um, um, uh, twisting in the plank and our measurements are good. Now remove the planks and we place, you see we put port and starboard so we don't get those mixed up when we put them back on the vessel. Fortunately enough this has been going really well, they're almost identical. Uh, I place them in very very hot tap water. Straight hot tap water, it's running out of our house at about 160 degrees. And I put it in there for five to seven minutes. I found if I go any longer than that they swell too much and then when they dry on the on the ship um, they actually shrink a little bit so uh, five to seven minutes still keeps their hard their hardness but also gives you enough pliability to match and ferret to the hull make sure you get the right ones and now we start placing them on the hull once again our fancy dancy little clips excellent tools to use for this and really cheap You can not only put upward pressure with the flat part, but you can put downward pressure with the little clip. And the funny part is you use the, like every clip, you take the arms off the clip, you put them into the other clip. So it's, there's three clips there that I'm using um, with the arms. And the arms fit perfectly. It works really, really well. So this is the wet fit now. We're doing the wet fit onto the hull and we place all of the planks back on. You use your thumb once in a while just to press against it to make sure you're not getting any... Um, uh, twisting in the plank. That's just going on. Check, make sure everything's good. And then place it right on. Now here's the next morning. It's dried overnight. Um, and you'll see as I remove the clip, I use pieces of wood there, little pieces of planking to make sure it doesn't indent the, the plank. But you'll notice they're almost perfect dried right where they are, maybe a little bit of movement there. Um, the material I used was a much harder material so they didn't get quite as wet as the other material for those two um, planks. But look, it molded directly to what the shape of the hull was. I think she fared pretty well. Um, there's no big major bumps or bruises or you know wobbles in it. Uh, it doesn't dip anywhere, it doesn't bulge anywhere. And you know you're doing okay if you can take it while it's dry lay it in there and it sits perfectly and, and measured perfectly. So that's how I reconciled uh, planking and I'll, let, I'll give you another practicum I guess and when we're all done with the hull but uh, so far we think it's pretty good and it matches the, uh, the direction. So God bless. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye.